Hello, welcome to my first attempt at homemade bread and I've already spilled my yeast. Oh no. Okay, so I got this recipe from Christine at Frugal Fit Mom and I will link her video below where she made the, the bread. So this is going to be no knead crusty bread that is cooked in the Dutch oven. So we're gonna start with three cups of flour. Now first I wanna say, I'm not a baker. Um, so this will be interesting how it comes out. <laughs> I like the fact that it's no need because I just, like I've tried to make pie crust before and got so frustrated that I just gave up. So we're gonna do three cups of flour. And of course I'm already making a mess with the flour, which is a prerequisite when you're cooking with flour. You have to get it everywhere. So this one, it looks like it's really simple. So hopefully it is fail proof or foolproof, I guess I should say, because I feel like when I bake a fool, because <laughs> it never comes out right. Um, so we'll see. Okay, so three cups of flour, and then you use um, one and a half cups of warm water. So what Christine says in her video is, the water should be warm, like you can put your hand in it and leave it there, but not so hot that you have to take it out because then it'll kill the yeast. So, um, and then use um, a half teaspoon of yeast and a teaspoon of salt. Okay, so three cups of flour, stick that in there. And then we're gonna do, oh, good grief. A half teaspoon of yeast, active dry yeast. And then we're gonna do, I don't want that to spill anymore. We'll stick it there. And then we're gonna do a teaspoon of salt. Teaspoon of salt. And then we're going to add, she was using a fork to kind of mix it, so that's what I'm gonna do, because that's what Christine did. So we're just gonna kind of start mixing it. And she said with the flour, um, depending on where you live, you may need a little bit more, a little bit less. So I'm in Florida, it's really humid today, so um, I might need a little bit more flour. So we're just gonna stir it. And basically it's supposed to like be like a sticky kind of ball, like everything's supposed to kind of come together and kind of just be sticky. <clears throat> and then you're supposed to leave it for at least eight hours she said to leave it for up to 24 hours um, overnight. So that's that's what I'm gonna do. I have yeast everywhere. It's like, I know these yeasts are alive, so it's like I have dead bodies all over the place now. Okay, that's weird. <laughs> I'm looking for a clip. Oh boy, this video is interesting, huh? Okay, so there, no more dead bodies coming out. All right, so we're just gonna keep mixing this. So I just wanted to try this and see um, if I could do it. I'm just, my New Year's resolution this year is to try new things that scare me. So making bread is one of them. My grandfather has had, he passed away several years ago. Anyway, this is just becoming a weird video. My grandfather made bread every year for um, the holidays and now my mom does it. Um, and it always intimidated me, but I love homemade bread. So I really, today's Easter. So I wanted to make this for Easter dinner, but if it has to sit for 24 hours, it's not gonna be ready till tomorrow. So I might actually just do the eight hours and that way we'll have it for dinner, but we'll see. We'll see how I feel. I have I have biscuits for dinner too, so I maybe I'll just wait till tomorrow. But we'll see. Okay, so it's come together pretty good. I don't know if you can see in the video. It's it's sticky. So I think that's how it's supposed to be. So um, she said, basically, you just cover it up and just leave it on the counter for several hours. So I'll probably leave it overnight because I'm going to follow the directions like she said. So she said 24 hours, so we're going to do 24 hours. So tomorrow I will come back and finish it. Hello, friends. Day two of my making bread video. I just lost my train of thought. I got sidetracked by the trees. Anyway, <laughs> sorry. So today's day two of the bread making process. First time I'm making homemade bread. So I was going to prop you up on my, sorry about the good grief, but on the tripod, but it just broke. So I'm gonna prop you up 
on my stove so you can kind of watch the process. Bye. Okay, sorry about this, but we'll make do. Okay, so I'm doing this on my cutting board just because I don't like putting flour on my counter because it's a pain to clean. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of flour on my cutting board. And you don't need a huge space because this isn't like a, you're not, I'm not gonna roll it out or knead it. So here's my dough. It's been sitting for 24 hours and you see all the bubbles. So that's exactly what you want. That means the yeast is active. Oh, it smells so good. All right, so there it is. So, um, I got this, ugh, I got this recipe from, sorry, from Christine at Fit Frugal Mom. And like I said, I'll post her video below that she made it on. So basically you just kind of take a knife and go around the edges just to kind of deflate it a little bit and then roll it onto the cutting board. I have my oven preheating to 450. So you just take it out of the bowl, scrape all the little bits out as much as can. It's really sticky. I don't know if you can see just how sticky it is. All right, well, that's good enough. You can see how sticky it is my bowl over here so basically you're just going to kind of just kind of roll it around into like a ball get flour on everywhere get a good coat so it's really really sticky which is the consistency it's supposed to be from what christine says in her video so um you just kind of get it in a ball and then you're gonna let it sit for another half an hour. So in the meantime, you wanna take your pan. So let me pick my phone up again. So the best, she uses a Dutch oven. So I have a Dutch oven. I'll show you my Dutch oven right there. So while the dough is sitting, oh, first I have to cover it. Okay, so I'm just gonna take the bowl and then just put it over the top like so and then we're gonna let it sit for half an hour so while that is sitting for half an hour i'm gonna put my dutch oven in the oven at 450 to heat up and that's supposed to give it a more even crust you don't have to have i'm gonna prop my phone right there so you don't have to have a dutch oven to do this you can use any kind of bread pan or anything you just want to make sure that you stick it in the oven to heat it up and then cover it so in the dutch oven so this is one i just got from amazon it's an Amazon Basics brand, and it's a six quart. Um, it was like 40 or $50, so you don't have to use a Dutch oven to do this. I just happen to have one. So now I'm going to go wash my hands, and we'll be back in a half an hour. Back again. All right, so my 30-minute timer has gone off, so I'm going to remove the lid and try to do this holding my phone. I probably should have turned it around. We'll just do this. See? Okay, so I'm gonna take the lid off and I'll just kind of turn it around and show you. Ooh, there it is. So it already has a pretty good crust on it. Woo! All right, so it already has a pretty good crust on it. So this is just to get it brown. So put it back in. It smells amazing. So I'm gonna put it back in and then set a timer for, move my hair. Set a timer for 15 minutes and then come back and it should be done. So fingers crossed. All right, crossed. moment of truth. It smells amazing and it looks amazing and it didn't stick, yay. All right, so I'm going to take this out. I'm just gonna use some tongs and I'm gonna transfer it over. I'll just leave the parchment paper attached. So I'm gonna let it cool probably at least an hour before I cut it. Um, just so it cuts easier. So I will come back and show you what it looks like on the inside and we'll do a live taste test. So excited. Okay, so it is cooled and I've cut it in half down the middle and you can see it. It smells really good. I'm just gonna cut the end off just to give it a taste. 
it's a very crusty bread. So normally I would put butter on bread, homemade bread, but I'm gonna taste it just as it is, just so I can see, okay. Mm. It's really good. Mm. Mm. So I might add a little bit more but um, salt to it, just a tad. Um, but the texture is really nice. It reminds me of like a French baguette. It's really hard on the outside and then chewy in the middle. So it's really good. Um, so, I mean, I think two thumbs up to um, my first time making homemade bread. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you did, uh, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Thanks for watching.